Oh, are you feeling now okay? Yeah, I feel okay now. A little bit nervous, but I'm all right. Now, I know that you you said because your fly died, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. You fly in your kitchen, right? Yeah. And talk about that fly, maybe? Yeah. It's not a human being? Uh, no, no. Not it's really. a fly. Yeah, a regular, regular fly. And, yeah. and you said? Yeah, I'm really sad. Oh, my God. Okay. Concentrate. Turn your head. My name is Bruce Bassett. Uh, this is my second showing. 
the performer OK. Um, I have MD and my muscles are kind of going down the side because the with the with the MD and muscle dystrophy, the the MD take your muscles away that the muscle that you have when you're older, your muscle kinda go away. I mean muscle get worse and you end up like in a wheelchair. I'm not in really I'm not in, in a wheelchair really right now I am but um, I can still I can still walk and stuff like that and, and do different stuff and still work. I work at life sales and I do stuff there and and plus I still do my exercise every day at life sale to keep my my legs strong and I still move around and still do a lot of exercise to, to keep my belly up and keep my legs very strong and that's that that I got to say. And he died on me very on a me me and him, me and mosquito did a lot of good stuff together and then I threw where, where? at my house in my in, kitchen? Yeah, in my kitchen. He died there and so I you you saying that you had a mosquito that was your friend? Yeah, he was one of my, one of my best <laughs> best friends. Oh it's not a human being? Well I I think he was a human being to me he was, but to that people he was just a fly. And, and he was really, like really good friends. I mean, I, I liked him. Me and him did a lot of stuff together. And I did feel sad he died. Okay, when he passed away? Oh, we, we had a funeral for, for the fly. Oh, you had a funeral for the mosquito? Yes. <laughs> Okay, um, I got one question. The song I'm going to sing is everybody going to know it. I want everybody I to sing the song with me because everybody going to know the song.
my good friend who's going to sing a beautiful song, Maria and Christina. Kitty Cat, my Simon, and he was such, he was my cat, the cutest cat. He was so cute, he was adorable. He'd come down and, and, and be, uh, right, right next to me and let him have it really easily. He was a cute, cute, cute kitty. <laughs> Mary, do you want to say something about you? Sure. More? Maria. Maria. <laughs> Maria is my name. Everybody, I always tell everybody that to call me Maria because I'm from South America. Um, um, 50 years old this year. <laughs> Operating room, um, uh, 
a minister came and baptized my child, baptized him, and I kissed him, my husband kissed him, and he went off, he went off into the or he went off into the operating room for an operation uh, that we didn't know if he'd live or die. So 450 days later of chemotherapy, radiation, and brain surgeries, and many other complications, surgeries, he finally came home from the hospital. And those were the most, the, I, I'm gonna use improper English, but those were the most, most worst, worstest days. <laughs> but you know what? Out of those days came the best, the best days of our life. Uh -huh. So the worst thing was, is I, I couldn't see what was to come. I couldn't see that physical therapy. When he was six years old, he would take two steps. Then he would take ten steps. And now he's running and walking a mile and participating in the Special Olympics. Yes. Besides the walking, I don't ever, I always envisioned him dancing, and he's dancing, and he couldn't talk for six years or seven years. And now I can't get him to, I'm gonna shut up, I can't get him to stop talking. <laughs> and it's been through the help of a lot of support. I always believe in um, not what can't be done, but what can be done. And really that's, that's why he's here tonight, and I have to tell you that um, I have to say that he shares a very special bond with his brother Carter, and he was not having any of this tonight until his brother came. So um, the, the worst thing that ever happened really never happened because it's been a joy to be his mother and a privilege. So thank you very much.
love you too. I love you. Yes, it is. Can you see everybody? I really can't in the dark, but. Adventure. 
His name is James Professor Professor James McNeil.
goes right directly into the timeline. How about the, those three here? Uh, these are based on my electronic wires and stuff for the form of my time machine. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hi, James. Hi. Are you are you traveling? Are you traveling now? We just traveled after the time was. Where where did you go? Uh, Sent it to the year twenty uh, 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 twenty uh, A.D. Oh. to say your name and how you feel? Oh, uh, my name's Alyssa. I feel pretty good after that. That was a really awesome experience. You ready for, uh, after you're ready for the turn trip backwards? Oh, absolutely. Y'all ready? Back in the present. 